Hi everyone, welcome to this edition of the Brocast where we give you bite-sized bits of best practices to help you be a better leader and a more effective communicator. I'm Jarrett Bro. Earlier this week in the Brocast, we asked this question and threw it out there for your discussion. And the question is, how do you effectively talk to your spokesperson after they've screwed up in a media interview? Many of us have watched our spokespeople go out and just die a slow death of a thousand cuts by saying the wrong thing in a media interview. So here are some observations that we got online. Thank you for being a part of the discussion. Heather says this, you should coach them by afterwards addressing exactly which areas they communicated incorrectly in and give them specific examples of how they should have answered. And she adds, do a mock interview in the future to help them get better at speaking on their feet. I'm going to agree partially with you, which is to go back and to coach them. But a media interview is not about the skill of speaking well on your feet. A media interview is about being trained to the point of perfection. That a really good writer wrote some great sentences and parsed every word and worked in a training session long enough with a spokesperson so that they can internalize, not memorize, but internalize the messages so that the interview goes perfectly. And when you do the post-interview critique, don't just tell them what they said wrong, sit them down and continue the media training. Turn the camera back on and role play it a few more times so that they can be fresh in the moment and work them to perfection so they don't feel like a failure. Uh, Rick says, have a conversation with them, lay out expectations, and Rick says this, we all make mistakes. One interview doesn't make or break a career. Judgment is based on a body of work. I'm going to respectfully disagree with the concept that one bad interview doesn't make or break a career. Fact is, it does. Perfect example, let's use Tony Hayward, former head of BP. During that oil spill, right out my window here in the Gulf of Mexico. Tony was asked a question and his response was, no one wants this over with more than I do. I'd like my life back. That was such a lightning rod statement, clearly an ad lib, clearly a self-centered comment that the global chairman of the board basically canned him. Last we heard he was headed to Siberia. I've seen many people have their careers destroyed and it doesn't have to happen. Doing a media interview requires good writing. If someone screws up, you have to evaluate, was it the fault of the spokesperson? Did they not prepare enough? Was it the fault of the media trainer? Was the media trainer not tough enough or thorough enough? Was it the fault of, of no one writing great sentences to internalize? Was it the fault of someone just saying, hey look, here are three bullet points, ad lib about these three bullet points. That is the worst thing to do. Give someone three bullet points and let them ad lib, you're gambling your corporate reputation and revenue on someone's ability to ad lib. It's much easier to think about the inverted pyramid, to think that the media need a headline, the media need a synopsis sentence, a lead, and the media need a quote, and to make sure that you've trained your spokesperson to go in and verbalize right off the bat a sentence that adds context, a sentence that creates a headline, a sentence that is so good that the reporter says, that's good, I'm gonna use that for the lead, and then to practice a quote that is so pithy, that is maybe a compare and contrast quote, a quote that is so rich that it gives a writer an endorphin release so that those reporters go, this guy or gal has their stuff together. Doing a great interview is about great preparation. And if you've prepared wrong, you're paying the price, sit the spokesperson back down and have a good coaching session and actually repeat the media training, understanding whose fault was it, the trainer, the writer, or the spokesperson. For the broadcast, I'm Jared Bro. We look forward to talking to you again next week.